And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Yeah. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Mm -hmm. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? Yeah. How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Sounds like religion. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. That looks kind of dangerous to me. To fall off that. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. Easy. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Yeah, I'm not going to be a bitch with Garrus. I'm going to be nice with him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Oh, no. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. Yeah. I won't waste my time with that loser. Me neither. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Uh, well... Yeah, I'll, I'll probably go see Harkin, but in any case, any of the leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. I'm not going to bother asking I him anymore. Go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. But I'm not going to see Bala Vaughn. He's another one of those little guys with the exosuits that I don't really like. A lot of them uh, turn out to be bastards later on. That guy's up to something. What guy? Uh, Walt. Well, the one over by the keeper. You dumbass. What do you mean, what guy? Look. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Shifty. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh, coy cop? I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. Alright. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. 
I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Yeah, I, I like Solarians. Well, not all, but some. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Yeah, yeah. If we don't find all the keepers, we won't be that bothered. Um, we can't really talk to him yet. But let's just have a look for the keepers that are in the immediate area. Interesting. Yeah, it is. But I'm not going to bother talking to you about it. All he's going to say is, this is where the council judges all or something. I really don't give a crap what he thinks about that. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Hmm. Oh, yes. Keep her. This gets you money, XP, and is a pretty decent side quest, which gives you more information later on. By later on, I mean much later on. You'll see in later on, and that's, well, if. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze. Well, that's if I actually do complete this one, which I might. If I actually bother to read a guide, finding each and every single keeper, it'll be easy as hell. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. Volus, that's it. So sure. The ones with the, the ones with the little suits. Volus. Yay! That's all the keepers in this area. All right, now we want to go to Cora's den. But I wouldn't believe everything you hear. Cora, 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 Cora. <clears throat> but before we actually go into Cora's Den, you'll see what Cora's Den is in a moment. Um, there's a keeper around here somewhere. Not through there, that's the marketplace. Up here. Just want to make sure I get it. There you go. Now let's go back. Also, shotguns. Armor. Yeah, we're all we're, we're good. Nothing going away. We're not expecting trouble. That's him. Oh, wrong. Are you sure? All clear. See? Guess what kind of place we're entering. <laughs> That's right. A million light years from where humanity began, and we walk into a bar filled with men drooling over half naked women shaking their asses on a stage. I can't decide if that's funny or sad. What? You don't think they're here because of the food? I like you, kid. See why this place is so popular. It's got quite the uh, view. 